In this video, we'll see how to compose an email message and how do you send to different people. Let us see that. Now, there are basically three methods to create a new email message. The first method is very simple. If you click on this home tab and in this new section, if you see there's a new email option. So if I click on this new email option, a new dialog box or you can say as new window opens, which will give you many options to work with. Okay, that is the first method. So I'll just close this. Let me show you the second method. If I keep my cursor on this new email button, I'll get a shortcut for this. That is in brackets control N. So if I press control N from my keyboard, the same window opens again. So that's the second method again. So I'll again close this option. The third method is if you go to this home tab in this new group, new items, if you see there's an email message using and uh, the options are as plain text, rich text and HTML. So we'll see those detail, but right now we'll go for this HTML. So if I click on this place, I'll get this window. Now, why this window appears? Why not it comes into the same place? Because in this window, if you see there are many tabs, message, insert, options and so on. So every tab has different options. Let us say for message, you have formatting options, cut, copy, paste options. You have inserting signatures, files, etc. If you want to attach some uh, images, some video files, some audio files, or if you want to insert some charts, everything. So you can use this option as insert and all this area you can utilize. So there are so many options when you compose an email in Outlook which is not available into your normal Gmail, Yahoo account and so on. Let us see now. If you, if you create a new mail, you get this options as from, to, cc and so on. So first one by default it gives from training.tutorialspoint at gmail.com because if I click on this from drop down, it says there are two accounts in your Outlook. From which account, on which account behalf you want to send an email. So by default it has selected the first one. If you want, you can choose the second email account also. So right now I'll go for the first account itself. Next, it says, whom do you want to send the email? So in the two box, in this two box, you can type the email. So I'll type any email account at hotmail.com. Okay. If you want, you can add another email account separated by semicolon like this. If you want, you can send email to yourself like this. You can keep on adding different emails in the same line that is separated by semicolon. Similarly, if you want to notify some people, you can keep them into carbon copy that is CC and you can keep typing the emails. So what I'll do is I don't want three emails in the two form. I'll just uh, remove some of them and I'll put into this area. So I'll just select press control X and I'll press control V okay, in this place. So I've got the two field and I've got the CC field. Now suppose if I want to notify them, that is a blind carbon copy BCC, also I can do that. So for that, I have to go to this options tab. And if you see, there's an option given as BCC. That is not usually available easily. So you have to go to this options and BCC option. So here, that's nothing but a blind carbon copy. You can write some email here like this, any email ID, I have just random email ID, I'll put here. Okay, that's a corporate gurus 365 at gmail.com. So whenever the email ID is valid, you'll get an underline below that. If the email ID is not valid, you'll not get an underline below that. Okay. Now, what is the subject you want to say? Subject, I'll say as subject as meeting for meeting at 4 p.m. So I'll write here a salutation, dear all, kindly be available at 4 p.m. Regards, tutorials point admin. So if you want, you can keep on adding some details. We can add many things, inserting image, uh, files and all. We'll see it later, but right now, just adding two CC, BCC, a subject, a salutation, there's a body text and that's the signature part. And simply you have to just click on this send button. Remember that's a meeting at 4 p.m. So I'll just click on this send button. Now the email will be sent to all the four people. And if you observe here at the bottom, you get sometimes a notification. But here, if I go to this uh, outbox, the outbox is empty. So when the message is in the sending process, it will be shown in the outbox. 
if you want to see whether the email has been gone or not so you can go to this gmail you can click on this send mail and if you observe here it will get loaded it takes time if not what you can do is you can use this option as send and receive on the top the first in the top and what it will do is it will try to receive and send emails whatever are given here so it will see observe here what will happen so what is happening is i have said a send email which is given here but it's not visible the reason is because the by date it is said as oldest to newest so i'll just click on this newest part and if you see i have got the email as pavan lalwani at hotmail and the subject is meeting at 4 pm let us see the body text that was the exact message which i have typed and this was for 2 cc and bcc all the email ids are present here now let me go and check into the hotmail account whether it is accepted or not whether it has got the email or not i have hotmail account on my browser and that's the email which i've got so if you see meeting at 4 pm dear all kindly be available at 4 pm that's the same email which i've got it right into the hotmail account so i'll just go back at this outlook account right so i hope you able to understand how do we compose a normal email message into your outlook and how do you send to different participants by keeping them in 2 cc and bc that's all for this video